So you ran a title search on a piece of property and you think you have everything. Well, did you check the prothonotary records for that property? Hi, this is Dave at TitleSearch.com. If you're in either Pennsylvania or Delaware or even some other states, you better make sure that the prothonotary records were checked. Even though th those are not direct land records, they may have documents that directly affect the property as liens or as encumbrances. The word prothonotary comes from a Latin phrase meaning the chief or head clerk of court. It's actually one of the first legal offices ever created in the United States. It's one of the oldest legal offices even in the Western Hemisphere. It's usually an elected official uh, in a county or even in a region of a state and that person does case management for legal processes. It could be uh, court cases, it could be divorce cases, um, it may be different uh, types of operations depending upon the jurisdiction. Some counties let the prothonotary do some things and not others. In some cases they even handle uh, mediation of cases, uh, bail hearings, and they may have some judiciary powers beyond just a uh, an administrative office. So here's why it affects title searches. That office may contain records with an effect on property. For example, if there's a, a civil court judgment against a person, uh, those records from the civil court um, docket will end up in the prothonotary records room. And if those aren't checked, that civil court record uh, effect on a property as a lien may not show up if you just check land records. They're very frequently overlooked. Uh, by title searchers who may not have the experience or don't know to look there. Um, the prothonotary office also is important to look at for name changes. If a person was named uh, John Smith and he changed his name to Johnny Smith, well any liens that show up in the other name won't be found if you're only looking at one name. And you may not be aware that this individual changed his name unless you find that record in the prothonotary office. Mechanics liens are famously recorded in the prothonotary record. So if you have a property that could have mechanics liens, that's where you're going to find it. This is just one example of a secondary record source on a title search that's important to take a look at to make sure that all of the claims against a property are verified and that they show up in the search so that you as an owner or a potential client aren't missing liens, judgments, or mortgages which are going to affect your decision making on buying that property.